All right, up second for tonight is the LG Philips 42 inch panel. Another standard definition panel with faulty chip on film edge connectors. Let's give it let's give it the whole nine yards as the fighter pilots would say. Nine yards was the uh, length of the 50 caliber um, ammunition belts that they'd load into the uh, aircraft. So yeah, I'm going to give it my whole nine yards in the form of a microwave transformer. Yeah, get a bit of brightness. Sort of healthy. A couple of hundred volts, 300, 400 volts. Oops, we can see something on the uh, left side there. I'm starting to get a bit of a bright spot. A few hot spots. Let's torture it a little bit. It still has the buffer board, the T-Con board and the Y sustain board still attached. So it's going to ground in a few different places. Oops! There we go. Let's just play with it a bit. The ICs in the back there are going. That's what all the crackles usually are. The chip on film ICs start popping and crackling and carrying on. There we go. Now yeah, I've got a few shorts, I can turn the voltage down. Let's get a bit of a display. Turn it up a little bit more. <laughs> mm, smells like burning semiconductor. <laughs> I'm getting a failure point in that bottom left corner. Gotta watch that. If it gets too hot, the glass will crack, and that's when it's game over. You can see it in the left bottom corner. Yeah, there it goes. Start to arc through. Unplug it. Tear that ribbon off. I don't want a hot spot building up anywhere near the corner of the glass. That's usually where they start to crack. There we go. Oh no, it's still going to go there. Let's just crank it to the max. Last, last full measure. Absolute power. Oh, that's beautiful. LG display panels, best ones for a lightning storm. <laughs> well, I suppose you call it canned lightning.
need more voltage <laughs> this is like the last one it just ain't gonna give up is it more voltage actually let's try it with the uh, Y sustain boards off the panel not much difference need more power. I'm thinking capacitors perhaps. Alright, let's try 4000 volts instead of, well, 2000. Because 2000 ain't good enough. see what this can do.
and it's as high as it'll go. It's still sort of happy doing that. Alright, let's knock it up a notch. The microwave transformer should see 600 volts peak input. Whoops. <laughs> well, I didn't take everything out. I think I just took the main or the uh, sub breaker out. Yep, sub breaker went out. Just the uh, switch on the power outlet board. Let's try that again. <laughs> it's getting hot. I don't want to cook me variac. Wow, this thing's taken a bit of a beating. Oh well, better find a better way to kill it. Alright, capacitor time. 4 microfarads, 2.5 kV. Yeah, unlimited power. Well, maybe limited power. Alright, well, there are some slight cracks down in the bottom corner here. So the unlimited power hour isn't quite an hour, but this thing hang in there. That's pretty good. I mean, next time I get one I'll probably just lump silicon all the way around the outside and then try it. At least that way if the vacuum does try and pull anything in, it just pulls silicon into the, uh, the hole and seals itself up. Sort of a self-sealing plasma panel. Anyway, I'll put this outside and when I get time I'll set up and do a bit of an air cannon shoot. <laughs> a bit of fun in the well, when I get some space back. <laughs> Then we'll have fun shooting TVs. Anyway, thanks for watching.